All right, let's do some coil building 101. Before we get into the video, click the link down below in the top comment in order to join our Facebook group. Let me show you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a sharp pair of scissors. This is the vape shears, highly recommend them. You're gonna need some ceramic tweezers, a coiling jig or rod. You're gonna need some wire. This is a simple round wire. This is a Clapton wire that came pre-spooled. I'll show that to you up close. And this is a pre-built coil right here. Any one of these ways will work for building. I'm gonna show you how to wrap a round wire. I'll show you how to wrap a Clapton wire. But you can buy Claptons and Aliens pre-made like this. You're also going to need a cotton pad as well. Now, the first thing you want to do, you want to make sure you have some type of vape calculator if you're going to wrap your own wire, okay? I use Vape Tool on Android, okay? Go to the Coil Calculator section. Select the type. You're doing a single round wire build, okay? It's right there, normal, parallel, twist, and Clapton, normal, okay? We're using... We're going to be using stainless steel 316. Okay. We have 24 gauge stainless steel 316. That's what we're using. We're going to be having a three millimeter inner diameter. That means the inside of the coil is going to be three millimeters wide. Okay. Coil length we'll leave there. We'll do, let's do six wraps. Okay. And now you hit calculate, and now it tells you my build is going to come out to 0.292, which is fine, right around 0.3. That's where I like to vape on a single coil atomizer, and my sweet spot is going to be anywhere from 23 to 46 watts. Okay, so let's put that into practice now. Here is my stainless steel round wire, 24 gauge, okay? Now... On coiling rods like this, you can see it looks like it telescopes, but it doesn't, right? It just it just tapers it, it tapers up, okay? 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, okay? So the second one from the top, that's our 3 millimeter slot right there, okay? So what we want to do is we want to take our wire, we want to hold it parallel, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to bend it around the 3 spot, okay? Just keep bending it and count. One, that's two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So that's six wraps right there, okay? Now what you want to do is you want to take this part right here and you kind of want to pull it. Make sure you pull it nice and tight, right? Pull both of them nice and tight. Get it as tight as you possibly can. And what you want to do is you kind of want to scrunch that build up a little bit and just get it to be evenly spaced, okay? And don't worry if it looks a little sloppy. It's okay. You just want it you want it nice and tight, right? And there you go. There's your coil. Now what you do, you take your wire cutters. I don't know if I showed the wire cutters in the beginning. You need a pair of wire cutters. All right, and you make those legs just a little bit more manageable. Okay, so now your coil should look like that. All right, now you get yourself a build stand or a mod. I like to use this 521 plus tab. I've been using it for years. Okay, you turn it on. I'm using a simple deck. I'm using the Vandy Vape Revolver deck. Very, very simple. Let me show you why it's so simple. It's a one, one screw right here. You have this ceramic block right here that you tuck your leads under. You got all that area there, so it's really easy for coil placement. And I'm going to show you how we put the coil in there that we just made. Okay? So the coil we just made, we're going to take it and we're going to put it between the ceramic block and the metal. We're going to take our leads and we're just going to pop it in there just like that. Okay? See how that's laying in there? Now, at this point, before you tighten down, you might want to play with your coil placement, hold it in place where you want it, okay? Maybe something like that. And now, you take your screwdriver, and you just tighten it down. That's literally it. Now, that looks a little janky, right? We're going to fix that. Take your coiling rod, get it in up to the three spot, and twist it around until you get it exactly where you want it 
See how nice that looks? That's how you want it. See that from the side? That's how you want it. Now you see this part right here, these excess legs? Well, we're gonna cut them off, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take your flush cutters and you definitely wanna get as close to here as you can when you're snipping these, but put your finger over them so they don't go flying everywhere, all right? Like that, okay? And then again, flush, as flush as you can get it. The reason you wanna get it flush is because you don't want any wire hitting your barrel when you put the barrel back on and shorting out your wire, okay? So now, just for shits and giggles, let's see how we did. If we're around point one, if we're around point three, okay, we're gonna dry fire the coil. And you can see, I'll give it a little strum. You can see we're around 0.38. So it's a little higher than we originally wanted, but that could be due to the legs being a little longer because of this build deck. But that's how you how you build, just like that. Okay, very simple. It's glowing evenly from the inside out. All right, and now I'm going to show you how to wick this thing. While your coil is cooling down, take this little pad right here, and you want to take off the first layer. It's like a layer of skin almost. I don't like it. It's like kind of matted, that first layer. I don't like it. I always take it off. Some people leave it on. I prefer to take it off. All right, you peel it off. And why I like peeling it off too is because as you're peeling it off, you can see it kind of fluffs up the cotton. So I like that. All right. So we're going to take this piece off right here. We're just going to peel it back on both sides. And you can buy, now you can buy the shoelace cotton, right? Where it's got like those shoelace strips and you don't even got to do any of this. But I like, to, I still like to use the pads. Now you always want to cut in the direction the fibers of the cotton are flowing, okay? So this one, you want to eyeball it, maybe say right around there, you cut it, right? Cut yourself a nice strip, just like that. Then you want to take this strip and you kind of want to roll it between your fingers, right? Make sure your hands are clean because if you got any schmutzy stuff on your hands, that flavor is going to get into the cotton. So just make sure you wash your hands before you start building. Make your point. You got your coil installed. And now you just pull that cotton right through, just like that. And that's it, man. It's easy to build and wick. It really is. Now, for this particular atomizer, I like to cut it right around the end of the threads, right there. Did you see that? See where the threading ends? That's where I like to cut my cotton because on this particular atomizer, if you put too much cotton in, it's pretty easy to get dry hits. So just run your scissor right along the end of those threads and snip it. Okay. Now what I like to do is I like to take my coiling rod. I like to use the tip of it and just tuck those wicks in. And you see how nice and loose they are? See that? See how nice and loose that is? That's how you want your wicks when you're wicking an RTA. Nice and loose. Try to get the back end in first, the bottom in first. Don't stuff. Don't be an animal about it. Just be nice and gentle. Get them in there and look how nice and loose. See how loose that is? If you can't do that with your cotton, you're too tight and you're going to choke off the cotton. But that's a simple round wire build. I mean, that's about as simple as it gets. What are we oming out at right now? Let's see. Yeah, right. See, it went down a little bit. Now we're down to 0.26. We were supposed to be at around 0.29. That's definitely closer. All right. So that's a simple round wire build. So now the other thing I wanted to show you is you can buy wire like this. This is a simple Clapton spooled, pre-spooled already. They go anywhere from like 10 feet up in increments of 10. I think you can buy 20 feet, 25 feet. You shop around. You can find this type of wire. Again, this is a very simple Clapton. They have more complex claptons that are also spooled you can get alien wire spooled it all depends what you can find out there so now what you do with this is the same procedure go to that three spot that i showed you right take your wire hold it right there and just start to wrap and you'd use the same procedure on the calculator right you'd say what kind of wire you have what kind of clapton it is you didn't put that all and just keep wrapping until you get the coil that you want, right? Once you get the coil that you want, give it a little twist, give it a little compression there, like I showed you the last time. Maybe you give it a little pull, 
make it nice and tight. All right? And give it a nice little compression. And there you go. Once it's all compressed and everything, that's what you got. Now you take your wire clippers, clean it up a little bit, snip that end off, snip that end off. All right? Now you pull it out. And there you go. You got yourself a nice Clapton wire. Again, not the prettiest in the world, but I'll tell you this. It's cheaper than buying them pre-made, and it's cheaper than factory sub -ohm tank coils, and it will get the job done. Don't forget, insiders, click the thumbnail over here. Check out our Facebook group. It's a great place to hang out and talk about vapes. You'll also see some more exclusive behind-the-scenes content. I'm there all the time. Click the thumbnail right over here and make sure you watch our Vaping Mitts video. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you guys today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.